What is up humans? Just like I said, I'm going to do this video today, but I'm going to kind of combine them a versus sort of video only because I'm kind of running out of time and I apologize, but uh, this is our America release for skate shop day. So this is the OG one also known as the uh, Mark Johnson, the original Mark Johnson shoe. And then we're going to put that side by side with this S shoe. And there you go, it's the 298, which is the Eric Costin shoe. So there you go, we're gonna look at these. Let's pull them both out. Here you go, there's your Mark Johnson and there's your Eric Costin. Uh, I believe these are 95 bucks and uh, these right here are 100 bucks or 99, 95, something like that. So let's check out this Mark Johnson first. Here you go, this is it. You've got the big Mark Johnson M on the side and this like navy sole on this cream upper. It looks pretty dope. Um, you have a triple stitch around the toe box and then this nice suede upper. It looks pretty awesome. Um, tons of perforation for breathability on these things. Um, and then there's your OG the OG branding, not the Mark Johnson branding on it, but the OG branding. It does say America in there. Here is your outsole. You've got this nice little herringbone tread on the bottom with your America branding on the sole right there. So super grippy, super durable. There is your America branding on the heel. And then here is your inside. You've got these little eyelets for breathability. And um, something different about this shoe as compared to the original Mark Johnson is this used to be an exposed EVA, uh, but this right here, they made it a full rubber outsole so that this, uh, this doesn't rot away over time because you guys know um, when EVA sits in your closet or in a box forever, this will just start to crumble. Um, this will no longer crumble because that is a full rubber outsole. And then you also have this nice removable uh, sock liner or insole right there with a little more extra cushion. Like I said, these are 95 bucks, a little bit cheaper than the Eric Costin's, $5 cheaper, but um, definitely a super stylish shoe. You do have this little lace protection or Ollie protection down here. And then these uh, recessed eyelets kind of help protect your laces as well. So you got some lace protection slightly, and then you have this triple stitch to help keep that toe box together and a very durable outsole so that your sole doesn't wear out. So that is, that is the Mark Johnson or the OG one. This fits pretty true to size. I can't remember if the original release fit true to size or not. Um, sometimes I had to go up a half size, like in Excels, I have to go up a half size, but I could probably get away with my true to size on this Mark Johnson. So that is a quick look at that one. Let's move on to the Eric Costin real quick. <clears throat> All right, here is the Eric Costin. In this shoe, I had like a navy gray and orange one back in the day. So definitely pretty sick. Um, you've got this. 3M reflective material all around the outsole, but you still have all this uh, all this perforation for breathability, just like that Mark Johnson. This one just has like a little more athletic feel to it. So um, again, some 3M hits on the heel right there, and your little pull tab. But there you go. Um, this shoe also has fully internal lace system so if you don't want to pop your laces you can lace the entire shoe from inside guys we have so much going on there's a ton of people in the store and we're doing some construction next door so i apologize for all the noise if you can hear that but anyway um this shoe also features a slightly different outsole actually it's a very different outsole but it is very sick this is the avant uh outsole but it looks really good on this Costin one upper or 298 upper on this thing right here. So pretty epic. Again, just like the Mark Johnson, this one had some exposed EVA with just a rubber outsole. And that EVA just tends to crack and crumble over time. 
So they went with a full rubber outsole. So it gives you a little bit more durability, makes the shoe last a lot longer. And uh, for you collectors, that means you can sit it in your closet for a lot longer. For you skaters, it's just gonna hold up and be a lot more durable. So there you go. That is the Costin. This thing also pretty true to size. Um, I think I could go perfectly comfortable in my 11 and a half. So there is your skate shop day branding on the inside of this one. And this is pretty much the same insole as the Mark Johnson. All right, there's your S footwear branding on the, on the tongue right there. Again, that super meshy, super puffy, fat tongue. Lots of breathability built into this thing. This one also has your full triple stitch all the way around. And there is your super durable outsole with your uh, S branding on the heel right there. So I think these are a hundred bucks, so not too bad. These are on bluetilesc.com right now. Um, you can go ahead and scoop them. There should be a link for you to click on to purchase, but uh, right now they're up there, bluetilesc.com. I think both of these are really sick shoes. It kind of just kind of comes to whether you want this like more athletic vibe or something a little bit more traditional OG skate shoe vibe. Um, but both super sick shoes. So there you go. Your costume one and your Mark Johnson. There you go. Big M on the side for OG. There you go. Guys, I think that's it. Both of these release on Skate Shop Day this Saturday at Blue Tile. Or you can scoop them up early on the website right now, bluetilesc.com, 95, 100 bucks. I think that's it. I'm going to wrap this up. We also have a surprise shock drop this weekend, so stay tuned for that. We're not going to show you any images. We're not going to tell you what it is. It is a sneaker release, and it's going to pop up on Saturday at 11 when we open. It'll just be in stock, so something different, but... Uh, Sneaker heads and skaters alike should be pretty stoked on it. So there you go. Um, there you go. Costin, MJ. Costin, MJ. Am I supposed to say that? 298 OG1. 298 OG1. I don't know. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. All the best. Love Blue Tile. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry I didn't have enough time to break this into two separate videos but you know it is what it is we're growing we're expanding things are things are cooking at blue tile so we'll see you guys in the next one all the best yeah goodbye